Hey guys, Adam Hart here. What if you beat Raditz at the beginning of the game instead of dying? If you beat him fast enough, an entire new cutscene plays, and this unlocks a whole new story path called What If Branches. And these What If Branches or What If Episodes can happen with other characters as well when you make different decisions and certain other criteria. How do you know when you can unlock a What If Episode? When you're in battle, pause, go to Battle Details, and it'll tell you in the objectives. The secondary objective will be how to unlock a What If Episode. Also, if you lower the difficulty, you can unlock what if episodes, so make sure you always keep the normal difficulty. If you see a blue line, that means you can change the story and unlock a what if episode, and the red line is the main story. So if you see a screen, that means you can change the story at that location on the map. For example, let's go ahead and look at the secondary objectives on rematch and result when we fight Raditz. Okay, here we go. As soon as it started, I press pause, go to battle details. Alternate objective. They don't tell you the timer though. <laughs> Defeat Raditz quickly, but they don't tell you how fast. But you guys will get an idea of that later in the video when I show you guys the full fight. I have a couple parts cut out where we're just not doing anything, but you guys will still get an idea how fast I did it. As soon as the battle starts, charge up your key and do a special attack, either Kamehameha or Meteor Dash. Meteor Smash. I'm gonna start with the Meteor one. As soon as you knock him down, charge up your key again. And keep doing that until you have your super move. Don't do it right away. Make sure you get a whole combo off. There, as soon as he's, he's fallen down to the ground, that's when you do your super Kamehameha. I'm gonna enter Sparkin again. So enter Sparkin right after you have Sparkin. Keep doing it over and over again. But don't actually do your super Kamehameha right away because... You can still make use of all these extra hits I'm doing right now. Press R2 and X to quickly get to him as well. And right before it ends, I'm going to use my Super Kamehameha on him. Please connect. Please connect. So you're going to enter Sparkin a lot. You're going to press Square a lot to hit him. And then use your Super move right before it ends. Keep doing that over and over again. So I just beat him really fast. Hopefully that was fast enough. Let's see. And there we go. He's got the will to fight anymore. And it says sparking episode in the bottom left. I think that might mean Someone we unlocked the what if episode. Wanna kill all my friends and family? It's no brother of mine. Now you better get the hell off this planet and never come back here again. Go on. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> You're the poorest excuse for a Saiyan that I've ever seen. Now I'll teach you how a real warrior should act. Say your prayers. What is he? The hell? Special Beam Cannon! Damn it! Beaten by a filthy maggot! You saved my life, Piccolo. If you hadn't made a perfect shot, I'd be lying on the ground with him. Yes, you definitely would be. <laughs> I found out Truth that. <laughs> be told, I'd rather you both be dead and on the ground. But your friends would just revive you with the Dragon Balls shortly after anyway. So I'm going to show you guys another example. How to unlock a what if episode from the Goku's back. Alright, as soon as it starts, press pause, go to battle details. Alternate objective, defeat Frieza without a spirit bomb. Here we go, we're about to beat him. Beat him with a counter. Let's get it. And for this what if branch, it only showed a cutscene. So sometimes you actually don't go on a bunch of fights, it just shows a cutscene, and that's it for the what if moment. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, and if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.